Alrighty, so now we have our fundamental example. Uh, so it's going to have A through E, right? Uh, find the work done by the force F minus MGJ going to Y1, 10, and Y2, 6. So those are going to be our variables right there. It's going to be our values. We're just going to go ahead and plug them in later on into our uh, equations, right? Um, so pretty much... For that one, it's going to be right here, right? W equals F3 delta S equals MG4. Um, we kind of see how the work is done from the force right there going in an upwards direction. Uh, find the velocity, right? We're going to go ahead and just plug in everything that we already have. Let me go ahead and delete this. Right, so... Um, we have mg4 equals half mv parentheses g minus y2 mv squared 10, right? Uh, so then we're just going to plug in our numbers into this section right here. 2g4 equals vc. Um, after that, it's going to give us v equals the velocity is going to equal radical 8g, which the radical will then equal to radical 80. Radical 80 will give us 9 because we're going to go ahead and take off the square, right? So take off the radical. The square is going to stay over here. V equals to our solution, which will be to our, our velocity, which will be 9. Uh, then we have our... Our other... I'm sorry. Our other... Um, question um we're gonna go ahead and plug in we're gonna solve right we're gonna solve right here um mg mgv y equals half mv j squared v equals 2g delta y uh we're gonna go ahead and plug it in 6 minus 10 <clears throat> from these values going up over here 6 minus 10 is going to equal to our negative 4 which then it's going to Go ahead and give us our variable which would be four the potential energy associated to the force f minus e, f equals m i'm sorry f equals negative mg j right so we already have what we're going to use we're just going to follow the steps and plug in the numbers later on um pretty much this is where we get all of our steps u u j u y one equals to m g y two plus c and then u y two sorry it doesn't look like too much of a two equals m y m g y two plus c right um and then at the end of the day of course our u is going to go ahead and equal to m g e we're going to go ahead and grab our solution from it uh, we have half mvj plus mgyj equals half mv squared plus mgy and then that's going to be how we establish the principle of conservation right of our problem right here and this equation is going to come up right here 